yeah, it was an abandoned barn, so we helped paint and make it look beautiful. The sand dunes were amazing. Like I've been in a lot of places in the world, but I've never seen sand dunes like that. Like it was beautiful. I'd never jumped in the sea before, and I actually jumped in the sea, and I didn't panic when I was under the water. So that was actually amazing. To be fair, that was one of my biggest fears that I've overcome. So. <laughs> Get a bit tense. I like cooking, so it was one of the things that it's just kitchen's my happy place. I thought it was going to be a lot harder, but it was easier than I thought it was going to be. It was nice to like cook something that we wouldn't really cook in the UK, and just it's just like a nice experience. I, I will one hundred percent be cooking my mum one of those dishes just just for her to get the same experience as I did because it was very enjoyable. Grand Canary and food was lush. I'll definitely be cooking my mum something like that. It was nice to see like them all do a competition between each other and teams of three of it to see which would make the better food. It was it was nice to try it and nice to try the Canarian food as well and how we could make the Canarian food. It was a really good experience and I'm going to make the potatoes for my family when I get home because they are so nice. <laughs> they are. Um, the red sauce. Mojo. <laughs> mojo, that was it. Yeah. I, I think I made it better. I made the mojo better. <laughs> 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 I've always wanted to travel, so it's kind of an eye-opener that you can do anything you want if you really put your mind to it. At the beginning of the trip, I questioned a lot of it, like, what are we actually learning from this? But afterwards, you kind of realise that regardless whether you've done things or not, it's still a whole new perspective of things. Group. Like, you, we all came here thinking no one knows each other, and, like, people that didn't fit in, and they opened up and, like, showed their true colours than they would, like, anywhere else. go back home a lot of them are ready to go into work some of them want to go back into college um, but the ones that are like ready to go into a workplace I think it's going to give them something to talk about with an employer um, especially where like interview skills are concerned um, you know some of them have never had work experience before so they're going to be able to um, link to teamwork um, leadership all of these skills that most of them never knew they had um, have come through in this last three weeks um, and I think they've learned a lot about themselves I think it's going to help I just know them. I'm good at everything was debating on the trip at first, but like, it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Whoever gets offered this, I'd take the opportunity, 100%. I'm able to socialise with people that I haven't met before, push myself to do things more. It's made me realise that I can actually be quite confident with new people. I've been myself. I didn't have to like, not be, not hide and things like that. And you just learn so much new things, so I will 100% recommend it to so many people. First time being abroad, being able to do all these new things, completely different. Um, give me a lot more interest to do, a lot more things I want to do when I go back to the UK. Don't judge a book by its cover, really. That's what I think. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> to say about Letty. Letty? Famous Letty. Oh, that is great. Letty. <laughs> <laughs> Without Letty, I think we'd be everywhere going out there going, I don't know where we're going, what we're doing, who knows? Like, yeah, you've made it better than it could have ever been. <laughs>